I mean, we're all energy. I have to say, Rob Genius thinks he's so smart. Okay, let's make one of the famous driving videos. A whole bunch of new information that no one had heard before. I am safe, sound on this planet. We are all safe, happy, and healthy on this planet. I am happy, healthy, and safe on this planet. <clears throat> I am safe, happy, and healthy on this planet. I gotta put my feet in the green grass. I cannot do this winter thing. I need warm green grass, not cold green grass. And I need cool green grass because my codes need to activate with earth. But I'm all woman. But if you want to believe that you're connected to the earth and by standing or being around the right kind of grass will help you, well, whatever. It depends what you're smoking, I suppose. Unless I did die and I'm living in a hologram. Now, but a hologram is just a projection of light held in a magnetic containment field. There's no real matter involved. Oh. One thing is that these some of these beings are gobbling up souls. That's number one, that the souls are actually being eaten. This number two is, well, interestingly, Ra Castaldo voiced what I think is true as well, and so did Rex Bear, which is that when you worship a deity, you give your life to that deity. You give your soul. He put it like that. You give your soul to that deity. It's on the internet, you know. And he was talking about the Mexican goddess, uh, well, there's Diana and Isis, who are supposedly the same thing, and then she's the goddess with a thousand names, and he's really into that goddess, and... Why would people on the internet lie about this kind of stuff? It's not like they're making lots of money on donations, selling books, trying to make documentaries, selling products. Hell, they're even selling t-shirts on this kind of shit and people like Rose just buy into it and go, oh, it must be real, not realizing they're perpetuating, well, a kind of scam. This, it's the Black Madonna. He's into the Black Madonna. <laughs> he thinks that the Black Madonna um, is from the Fae, Fae, Pharaoh, Fae. He's into the Fae, fairies, the fairies. Uh, the fairy line, he's got this big connection to these fairies. Uh, fae, is, which is either F-A-E or P-H-A-E. Now, Max Spears talked about the fae, <laughs> and so did a lot of other people, because it's not something one person talks about. It's on the internet. Some crazy lady accused Max Spears of, 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 ta of stealing other people's material when nothing could be more, f more further from the truth. So she believes that Max Spears is still a very relevant character. She still uses the idea of his work, the concept of him being some kind of, well, wise person. He never stole from anybody, he didn't have to. He had his own stories and everything he said was Fuck unique. Off. Max Spears talked about the Fae, and so did a lot of other people because it's not something one person talks about. He, he validated other people's stories in his own way. Never Max Spears talked about the Fae. Max Spears talked about the Fae. Never did he steal, never did he imitate. He was a complete 100% original. She basically talks about him being original, even though he's not original, about the ideas being valid, even where she can't show where they're actually valid. And she still makes ridiculous claims about the nature of reality and the universe. He was the real deal. And anybody wants to say no, it can go fuck off. She still watches videos regarding people who claim remarkable things, and she accepts it as all being true because they said it in a video on the internet. And if it's said on a video on the internet, or someone puts together a book or a PDF, then I guess it must be true, right? If it's in an article, well, they've said it and other people are saying it, it can't all be bullshit, can it? Actually, yes, it can all be bullshit, and that's why we shouldn't accept it just simply straight off the bat. Fuck off. Bugger off, as they say in England. Oh, I say we are grand, aren't we? Oh, oh, no more buttered scones for me, mate. I'm off to play the grand piano. And bugger off is really a quite serious thing to say, ain't it? But she likes to think that she knows things and that she knows about British culture and, you know, she'll talk about people from anywhere, basically, and make out she knows stuff and talk to people on the internet. And really, she doesn't know that much at all. You know, it's a load of fucking bollocks, basically. You know, I mean, for example, oh, British people, it's serious to say, uh, you know, something like very minor like that. Yeah, mm. uh, Explain Gordon Ramsay for me. Do that and I shall give you Fuck all, but I will give you a shout-out. How about that? 
What the fuck is wrong with you? I suppose if she puts it across in a video to a audience of adoring fans, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? I mean, we're all energy.